Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss that how we can install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. So there are few steps, we will talk one by one and the process is very easy. So step first, we already have discussed that we need to download and install VirtualBox. So if you don't know how to install the VirtualBox, you just can uh, click on that I button and you will get this video that how we install the VirtualBox. Now, the main thing is that how we can install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. So the first step is we need to download the Kali Linux. Where we have to download? Let me show you that where we can download. So you have to go in, you, you can just directly uh, give it kali.org OVA file. And once you will give it, you will get one of the link get Kali Linux. So just go here, open it. Okay, uh, let me increase my fonts. I think 110% is enough. Okay, so here you can see there are two options, right? First one is bare metal, and second one is virtual machine. So we want a OVA file so that we can, whenever we uh, double click on that OVA file, it is going to directly install in the virtual machine. I'll show you how. So just go in that virtual machine. Now here in the virtual machines, if you can see, uh, it depend, depends on you whether your PC having 64 bit or 32 bit. Mine one is 64 bit. Now how you can get to know that uh, your PC have 64 bit? So let me show you. That's a very easy step actually. Uh, you can just go in that this PC and right click properties. And here you can see here 64, uh, 64 bit operating system, right? So that's a very easy task, you can do it. Now, I do have the 64 bit. If you have 32 bit, just click on 32 bit. So I'm going to click on 64. And I do have the virtual box. I don't have VMware, I have virtual box. So I'm going to click this button, this download button, right? Once I will click on it, it will start downloading. Now just to save time, if you can see here, uh, it is going to take 20 minutes, right? So I already have downloaded that file. So I am going to pause it and cancel it. Right? So I have downloaded it. Now I am going to show you that how we can install. So number one, you need to just open virtual box. So I am going to open virtual box. Open. Now I already have opened it now. Okay. Go in this folder where you have just downloaded. Now you have to just double click on this. Only double click just by clicking double on this. It is going to install. Now it is asking to you import it. Just click on that import. The location is his this user summer virtual box VMs, right? import just click on that agree now it is importing so let's wait for a couple of minutes it is uh, installing okay meanwhile let's uh, discuss the steps so step number three step number three is double click or first is that open virtual box right step number four double click on OV file step number five click on import if you want to change the path you can change not an issue in that right Till now we have completed at this point. Now let's see how much uh, that is already completed. So it is going to take time. Okay, see here. Now it has been installed now. Now what you have to do, I'm just maximizing it. 
you have to just click on that start button but before that you can just go in that setting button go in that network now here is netted right uh, the network is net so if you want you can do the bridge network if you want uh, you can do the host only adapter you can do the netted network right so as of now I'm just leaving as a net okay but uh, depending on the situations you can uh, inter interchange these network settings if you want a bridge network right so if you can see uh, that uh, my host system Wi-Fi is, is going to use by this uh, machine Nated. okay let's directly open this machine click on that start and if you can see here uh, okay let me first finish it close it it is opening okay so it is asking for the password I am giving default password okay so the default password is step 6 set your network and step 7 start the machine step 8 login with username and password Kali Kali is the password so you can see within the 8 step we have just done it we logged in into our virtual machine okay so let me first shut down it okay now here what I was saying that you can just go here right and you can see these memory you can increase it if you want to increase more things things you can go in that setting again whatever you want to do you can just do it if you want to give the more memory to that if you can see I have 12 GB right so let me give to him 4GB at least so I'm giving 4GB correct so I'm just clicking ok and uh, automatically it is going to take only 2GB so but here I have changed it to the 4GB just for the uh, good pro uh, processing so that's it guys uh, in this way you can just change these settings if you want but uh, uh, these all are automatically are good settings having 2 GB RAM is enough for Kali Linux but if you have more let's say I have 12 so I just given given that 4 GB okay so again I am starting this machine just to double check if it is working Kali Linux enter password and username Kali Kali okay see I am entered now right so this is how you can install and maybe in the next video I uh, will talk about that how we can install Metasploit how we can install uh, Windows how we can install Ubuntu on uh, virtual machines